Hello, and welcome to the next tutorial in the series of Game Guru tutorials in Season 2. Uh, last week, we created a small fishing village with people, just walking around and having a good time. Um, I did notice that at the time, the waypath system wasn't as defined as I'd like. So I'm just going to add a couple more stops along the way and put him... Oops. <laughs> get rid of him because I wanted to find the floor. Put a new one on that one there. Because these two were following the green path. I don't know if it was that noticeable. But they were both kind of in it together and I didn't like that. So I just wanted to make that little change before moving on to the goblin camp. Now I found some rather nice goblins in the fantasy pack. And I want to use them. And so I thought we'll build them a little camp over here in the woods. Where goblins like to live, I assume. So that's what we're going to do. First off, I'm going to get my terrain painting brush. And I'm going to make a small clearing. This is going to be a camp. There's going to be a couple of tents and a campfire. No path leading to the path. These people are interlopers. So I've made a small clearing. I'll harden the central bit with rock. Because that's where the campfire is going to be, as you can see. I will remove any grass from the area because that will have been trampled by the goblins, like so. And finally, I'll just cut the grass out as well from a small thing so the grass kind of thins from the camp to the, the road. So an act, a player who's Noticing all oh, the thinning of the grass may follow it and discover the goblins. I'll just simply see them from the road. It's not exactly far away. The last thing I'm going to do actually is get my smoothing tool and I'm going to smooth out the entire area of the camp because a lot of this terrain was automatically generated by the um, the random terrain, which left it a little sharp. And so I just wanted to smooth it out a little bit to make it a little bit more natural, especially where this thing's going to be. Now I press E to go to entity mode. I'm going to move this tree away. I don't want it in the clearing. Same with that one. That one's a bit okay. I, at some point, want to go and uproot all of these trees and make them nice, like I did on the original series, but I don't want to bore everyone by doing all these trees. So that's something I'll probably do as part of a speedrun video. I'll just in between videos. Um, not decided yet. Now, a goblin camp first needs some tents, a campfire, maybe a few chairs, and some goblins. So, let's jump into the entity library and find them. So, if we jump in, and the fantasy pack is where I saw the goblins, and the fantasy pack is here, and the buildings. What have we got in the buildings? Um, some Aztec temples and pyramids. The characters. Here they are. Where's the goblins? There's the goblins. I like these goblins. So if we bring out a goblin and stick down two so we can get a feel, we're going to have one, two by the fire, like so, and an unarmed one by the tent. And I'm going to put the tent at the back. And maybe have another in a sentry. So if the goblin's in the centre, let's have an orc. Or an orc. No, an orc. No, he's the boss. He's the big boss, right? And the goblin over here will be the guard, the centre. Like so. So he will be kind of like a little raiding party or a logging thing or like a scout force. So they're going to need a few tents now. Let's find some tents. Uh, senior maybe Ooh. this I like this is good this is a decal um, and then you place it down and the decal will face the player from the player's orientation it looks like some sort of magical glowing lights or fireflies now I like that above fires because it kind of gives it a kind of um, a crackly glow I do like it a lot uh, scenery not too useful weapons is Good for the player, very nice things. But we're looking for some tents. So, 
I'm going to leave these now. I'm going to stop the video and I'm going to resume once I find them. Okay, I found something that I quite like the looks of, which kind of fits the purpose. I've also found a cart for the fishing village, so that was a nice little reward for me. Um, firstly, street fire pit makes an excellent campfire. So we place this down, so it's trying to find the height of the decal. Place it down here and move it under the firefly. It's kind of like a fire pit though. That's a bit small for a goblin fire pit. So if I click it and then scale, no, that's the decal. I'm going to delete that for now. I'm going to scale this up to be a little bit bigger. And I'll bring the fireflies back later. That's big enough for a goblin fire. Next, I found this tent. It's not quite a tent. It's more sort of um, a, a covering, if you will. Uh, I've lost it again. It was, there it is. Shelter. So if I put one of these down and increase its scale again, because these are quite big guys. So this means they're not um, terribly like camping. They're just like erecting small dwellings to be while they're doing the job, either scouting or logging or whatever it is that they're doing. I'm going to place him underneath one because he's the boss. He gets... Everything brought to him, he's in charge. He's going to be a guard, so I'll place him down here in front of the ark, and he's going to be in charge of looking after the treasure because let's make these guys raiders. Uh, they're not to be stereotypical or anything, I'm sure you can have goblins that aren't raiders, but let's face it, they make good raiders. So if we go back into the entities menu, we find a treasure chest. So I'm going to place down a few of these. And some barrels or some boxes or, yeah, a crate of provisions. Like so. And maybe something else, something, um, uh, boxes. A cooking pot, yeah. Another cooking pot on the fire. We'll just move that slightly to kind of like be perched on, like so. That's a very nice cooking pot. Um, what else can we have here? Let's, let's let a straight straw. Ah, it's like straw with some mat on top, so it's like a bed. So let's have some beds in here. Put that one there, make it a bit bigger because the ark's a big fella. And one there for the goblin, and the other goblin, I guess, you have to take it in turns. I wonder if there's a spit for the fire, that'd be good. Uh, no, but that's something I suppose we could make if it was that way inclined. Um, maybe put this in the fishing village because this is a nice looking cart. So we'll just head over to the fishing village real quick. And just spin this around and just pop it here. So this is the cart they use for taking stuff to um, the town. So, you know, it's always a good idea to have a good rummage in the asset library. You never know what you're going to find. And just finding one thing could spark a whole explosion of creativity. You know, it's like, ooh, what's this? And then all of a sudden you just want to make stuff. I mean, it's great. A sack of produce wouldn't see that in a red. Yeah, you might see that in a red and thing. I just stick it in his tent. Maybe it's his money. Speaking of money, I saw a coin. So if I'm going to get a box like this, I put the box here, and I'm going to get some coins and put them on top of the box. Just like that's his money. Like that. And maybe, a, I don't think he'd have a, a candle. He might do. Let's give him a candle. So put a bowl on. He might, he might like to read if he very goes to bed. You never know. Let's not judge him. And put the candle in the bowl. Like so. Make the candle go in the middle. And sink it down a bit. So it's not levitating. And there 
is a rather nice little goblin um, camp. We have the big orc, the boss, a couple of guards, and a lookout over here on the kind of um, the knot path. So I will save that because I don't want to lose my stuff. Save. And then I will test the game and have a look. And what we could do, I suppose, next time is to add waypoints and have a few more guards and have them patrolling the outskirts of the camp. And that's another good way to use waypoints. Um, so we might do that next time. Uh, just to bring a bit of life into the uh, goblin camp. Another good way to use waypoints off the top of my head would be uh, maybe to have um, some peasants from the castle, you know, going towards the forest or some people milling about the forest, like woodcutters or things. So there you can see the goblin camp in the distance of the fire and the tents. The fisher village, everyone milling about, doing their own thing. Properly following the right paths now. Everyone's just doing their own thing. It's, it's quite good. I'm very pleased with that. And so on that, I will end it there. And we'll come back next time and add a bit more life to the scene and perhaps um, do something to the castle to make it more interactive. Uh, because there's been a few comments that the castle's not as amazing as it could be. And I agree. It would be nice to be able to go in and do stuff. Um, and maybe also look at the forest over there because that's an underused part of this world. I want to get it so we can have a clear goal to zone from one zone to the next to do something, go somewhere and win this game. But until then, I shall leave it there and I shall see you next time.